as you can see, we're working with a lot of poles here. We built that cabin back there for God's sakes. I think we can build a, uh, I think we can assemble a greenhouse. That's how you make a corner in a greenhouse. Good thing is I'm also kind of a shrimp so I can fully stand up in here. Even though it's only, whoa. Sorry about that. Ooh. Feels a little more greenhousey in here, doesn't it? I officially broke the door on the first try. <laughs> Just imagine when this place is full of plants. Growing up to the roof. Ready to go into the forest garden. <laughs> Isn't this what actors do when they're getting going? Welcome back to the forest garden. Today we're not going to be spending time in here though. Today we're going to be spending time right over there on the outskirts of the forest garden. Did I say forest garden already? Well there, we, there I've said it a third time. This is the forest garden in case this is the first time you've ever, uh, you've ever seen my video. But if you look right there, we've got a little froggy inhabitant. He's kind of my buddy actually. He lets me get pretty close to him. And he stands there and he lets me spray him with water. He's actually got another friend in here. Right, oh, there he goes. It's the first time I've filmed you. Oh, he missed him. But enough about the pond, enough about the garden. Today is gonna to be all about building a greenhouse. So there's all sorts of ways that you can make your own greenhouse, but this time I'm gonna be a little bit more relatable, a little bit more practical. Because this is my first greenhouse, I actually bought it on Amazon right over there. So without further ado, let's uh, let's get into it. Let's unbox this greenhouse over here and let's let's get setting it up. I think this video is gonna be full of fantastic B-roll shots like this. Step one to creating any sort of greenhouse, well, at least the ones that you purchase and come in a box to your doorstep, is uh, the, the actual unboxing. So let's check that off the list. As you can see, we're working with a lot of poles here. And that's box one and done. Instruction manual you can see in case you want to uh, see what greenhouse I'm building here. More bags of poles. And then finally, the reason that I actually went with a purchased uh, greenhouse for my first one it's because this, this cover is gonna be nice and custom fit to everything. It's just all gonna fit perfectly. And uh, I don't know, I'm excited to, to see it put together. I think this is gonna be a lot of uh, do it once and then kind of repeat, you know, build one section and then just kind of, you know, get into the flow and, and continue to go down and down. So let's take one more good look at all of the supplies here. Let's see what we're working with. I'll show you everything. It's laid out on the ground. Let's get one cool shot of the area that we're gonna be doing this in. This greenhouse is actually 19 feet long by 10 feet wide by, I think it's six feet high, maybe six and a half feet high. And uh, this, this little piece, this little chunk right here is basically one of the few little slivers of sunlight that I've got over here. Watch your yard, spend it, instead of just diving in after you've got your greenhouse, you know, showing up on your doorstep. I know it's exciting. I know you wanna get it on box like, like we just did here. I know you wanna get putting it together but instead of rushing into it, pay attention to the land, pay attention to where you're gonna be placing your greenhouse and choose an ideal spot. Choose a spot that gets lots of sun, especially if you're in a situation like me where you know, you're, you're limited on, on sun spots. Beyond that, I, I really have no idea. I'm just ready to get the structure built so that we can kind of you know, get it in place. You can see exactly how it's gonna look rather than me just describing it. And uh, before I actually start to Start to build that structure. I've got to. I've got to take a look at those at that instruction manual. We built that cabin back there for God's sakes. I think we can build a. Uh, I think we can assemble a greenhouse. I should say. All right. Studied up. Got everything going. Basically, what I got to do is just kind of follow the numbers. Let's get to it. So one of the first mistakes I made is taking everything out of those bags because those bags have numbers on them. And those numbers correspond to all of these different numbers. Fortunately, I've got a little guide over here, but now I'm just having to look at the, uh, at the pieces and try to match them up with these kind of fuzzy descriptions. <laughs> so let's go find a number two. Where is number two over here? Let's see. Oh, here it is. So we've got seven of these. Looks like these little, I'm going to call them, uh, let's call them shrimpy sticks. 
maybe it's these ones right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So these must be number two right here. So we'll grab two of these guys, lay them down right here. Now we need our two eights in the back as well. So let's go do those while we're at it. So I think you kind of get the point. I'm going through, I'm matching up the numbers. I messed up and took the stuff out of the bag, so I don't I specifically know what the numbers are. So I'm having to play a little bit of a guessing game. But I'm basically just laying out the, the foundation or the grid of what this thing is going to look like in the end. Here's another pro tip. Don't throw all your crap where you're building your greenhouse. Because you're just going to have to move it. Well, if we could rewind time, that's how we should have started this project. Number one, I shouldn't have taken all the poles and everything out of the bags because I just made it harder on myself. Number two, I should have uh, should have had everything organized on the sides, and uh, you know, so we could so we could see the vision start to come to life. Anyways, enough killing time. Let's put our let's put our analytical thinking minds back on, like you have to do when you're assembling a greenhouse. And um, yeah, I'll see you when I got all the poles laid out in the in the proper positions. Pretty much easy as that. Not quite the dramatic shot I was looking for, but hey, that's what you get when you're sliding sliding poles into poles. I think I've pretty much got everything laid out. Now it's time to bust in our old parts bag. That's always fun. And I assume we're gonna start screwing all of these different pieces together. So now, as you can see by the instruction manual, I need some 12s and I need some 10s, and I need to screw them in. In case you were wondering, this is a 10, and I'm pretty dang sure that this is a 12. Stick that in. That's how you make a corner in a greenhouse. Now all I have to do is do that over, 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 and then over, 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 on the other side as well. Every once in a while you get a scared moment where you see that you're attaching all the poles on that side and you go, oh, geez, am I supposed to be attaching them on the inside there? So you run over, you scurry over to your directions, and you look real close, look even closer. Oh, looks like you're supposed to screw them on the outside. And at that moment, you breathe a sigh of relief you wipe the sweat off your brow, and you're just glad that this time it worked out. You know, other times you'll have to go back and you'll have to unscrew things and redo a whole bunch of stuff. I had to redo all sorts of things when I was building the tiny cabin over there. Step back here for a progress shot. That's step one and done. Got everything screwed together. <laughs> Got everything screwed together. Wow, I said that weird. And now it's just feeling a little bit time for a time lapse. It's time for a time lapse. All right, there's your seat. Get comfortable, because this part's gonna take a while, but don't worry, I'll speed it up and I'll put a bunch of fancy music and all that sort of stuff to make it fun. You know when I said before that I uh, had to check if the poles were on the wrong side? Well, I just did them on the wrong side, so we're gonna have to start that time lapse all over again. And now all that's left to do is connecting that top beam that goes down the middle. So let's do it. I have one little issue. These are the frames where the door is going to sit. And that is not right. It's supposed to be folded. It needs to go around the bottom like that. So unfortunately, there's something, there's an issue with that. And to be honest with you, out sunny, it's kind of screwing up my progress because now I need to contact the manufacturer and get them to send out the right pieces. So I will say, I mean, this is real life. Sometimes this happens when you're, you know, building these pre-assembled things. They give you just enough screws. They give you just enough pieces. And sometimes they give you the wrong pieces. Now that I've actually got everything assembled and built, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually drag this frame into place. I'm going to drag it exactly where it's going to be in the end because it's almost time to start putting that cover on the, uh, 
on the top of it there. Should we do it backwards now? Good thing is I'm also kind of a shrimp so I can fully stand up in here. Even though it's only, whoa. Sorry about that. I was gonna say it's a good thing I'm a shrimp because I can I can fully stand up in the greenhouse. And then that pole, that pole just came and smacked you right in the face. It's time to get this cover from right here. Set those door pieces aside. We've got to put this on there somehow. Now it's time to just drag it over the top of our greenhouse like that. How am I going to do that? Well, I'm not quite sure, but you'll watch me do it. So we'll, uh, we'll do it together. Feels a little more greenhousey in here, doesn't it? That was the goal anyways, but now let's go. We're going to take these little things right here and slowly but surely right like this. We'll just kind of seal it into place. Now I just have to do that all over the place with this entire bag of, uh, of pieces. Let's do one more together. And there we go. Okay, now the last step, even though we need to wait on the pieces to actually attach these to the greenhouse, is the door. So I've kind of laid it out. I'm gonna piece this together. We're gonna to actually hang it on, you know, just, just kind of as is for, for a minute till I get the replacement part but I'm gonna go ahead and get this door all screwed together now. So I wouldn't be a true greenhouse vlogger if I didn't uh if I didn't show you the handle assembly as well. Now we basically just gotta do what we did to the actual greenhouse back there. And kind of seal these under the door. Like so. Easy as a snap. Should we get you a real up close shot? But I think you get the idea of that too. So I'm gonna continue putting little snaps I'm going to get all of this siding actually sealed onto the doors here. Then we're going to move on to actually sealing up the one side. Well, I'm not going to explain it. You'll see it when I get to it at that point at the actual greenhouse. How's the lighting look in the greenhouse? Should look a little bit more diffused. I've got one side done. Now we're just heading back over here to do this side. And then we're going to mount the doors. And then my friends, it's almost time to say goodbye. It's a little bit sad, but I'll be completely honest with you. This isn't uh, this isn't my going to be my favorite favorite video I ever made, but it's an essential video. The reason this video is essential is not because of the excitement of building the actual greenhouse, not even the excitement of you know having missing parts and parts and you know getting the opportunity to go back and deal with a manufacturer that probably doesn't speak my language. No, no, no. All that fun set aside. The best part about this video is going to be what comes after the video. That's going to be a working greenhouse that we can fill up with plants, and then later continue to fill up our forest garden back there. Without further ado, let's get this side finished. So now if you want, you can go through and you can tighten things up and you can make everything look pretty. I'm not as worried about the outside, although I'll probably go and clean things up. I'll throw some soil over the edges and stuff like that. But what I'm really concerned with, what I'm really excited for, is making this right in here pretty. Making the inside Taking all of this empty space, empty sunny space I might add, that we've acquired in the forest garden and filling it up. Different shades of greens, reds, blues, blacks, all sorts of colors are going to be flowing in the greenhouse here. But it couldn't have happened unless we'd taken the first step and actually built this thing. But I'm getting ahead of myself, I'm getting ahead of myself, I'm getting too excited about what could be inside the greenhouse here. And we still haven't even hung the doors on the freaking place yet.
Ain't it lovely in that greenhouse, especially now that we've got a front door to kind of, you know, keep the air inside. And on a nice hot sunny day like it is today, we can even pop these bad boys open. Oops. And uh, I officially broke the door on the first try. <laughs> I bent it too far back, I guess, and this little, uh, this little welding came out. Well, that's a real bummer too, ain't it? <laughs> I have no idea if this shot is working. I've got the camera shoved in my shirt. And there's nothing a little uh, snappy strap can't fix. Let's give it a quick test. In fact, to be honest with you, I think it's an upgrade because I definitely want to be able to take this door all the way back and pin it open at times. So, if that bottom one doesn't break quick, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna end up breaking it myself. Just imagine when this place is full of plants, growing up to the roof, ready to go into the forest garden. And there's really not much to say besides that, right? We've got a greenhouse. It opens the door to starting a whole variety of plants from seeds because I'll give them a nice protected environment to kind of grow up and get strong before they before they're you know tough enough to to survive out with the storms and everything in the actual garden outside. And, uh, you know, also it's how, how cool is it going to be just to be hanging in this greenhouse when this thing's full of plants? Right now it's a little sweaty. It's a little bright, to be honest with you. I kind of wish I had my sunglasses. But just imagine when I'm brushing through, you know, delicately watered leaves, kind of, you know, brushing past my face as I, as I make my way in here. So I can't think of a better way to end our building a greenhouse video than uh, with the reason that I built that thing in the first place. And that's this garden right behind me. So this is our first bed here. I call it Dog and Jazz's bed, mainly because that's dogwood and that's Jazz of vining up that stick. This right here, this beauty, has just has been my biggest grower. It's just been showing off the most. All of this bright green in here, you see all of that? All of that is new growth. Believe it or not, my best growing plant is my favorite plant. And it's this, uh, it's this Swiss cheese looking one right here. So I didn't realize this when I got it, but you notice how it's kind of vining and crawling its way along the ground over here? I'm hoping that maybe eventually this thing will just continue growing and I can kind of snake it all the way through this whole bed. This guy right here seems about the same, but happy nonetheless. Now this will take me to my second best growing plants in the whole garden. And that's whatever these purple guys are. This thing started out with maybe these two, maybe three of these stalks. And look at the way that it just is kind of, it just vines out and crawls all over the place. I love these, I love these crawling plants that sort of add, you know, a lot of, of interest along the, along the ground. Oh, look, we've even got a nice, a beautiful bloom. I got a little bit of dirt in for you to see. Let's see if we can blow it out. Get those bugs out of there too. It's one of our nice magnolia blooms. So I just finished taping my pretty darn good garden soil video. Here's a little teaser for you. So make sure to look out for the link to that in the description or it'll just pop up on the screen at the end of this video for you. I wanted to give you a few updates on the greenhouse. I've made a few adjustments since yesterday when I completed this thing. Um, the biggest being the actual things that hold the, the lining on here. So I had originally kind of put those all up on these upper bars and things like that. And I thought about it and that's just the wrong way to do it. So I disassembled all of those. And you can see now I've just got the clips kind of running all the way around the bottom. I've also got on order, it's supposed to be coming in tomorrow, some anchors. I've got to actually put this greenhouse, I've got to anchor it to the ground. So when a big gust of wind comes, it doesn't blow this thing, you know, a mile away into the woods. I've got some actual true anchors that you drill into the ground and a little chain that'll connect to all four corners of this greenhouse. That's going to help this thing uh, keep keep anchored. So I wish I could show you that, but I wanted to mention it because it's an important it's an important step, and that's securing your greenhouse to the ground. Otherwise, this thing will just become a wind tunnel, and before you know it, a big gust of wind that you don't think might come through, but will come through one day. That big gust of wind is going to go into your greenhouse, and it's going to lift it right off the ground, especially in some sort of a storm or anything like that. So always make sure you anchor your greenhouse to the ground. Let's finish this building a greenhouse right back there. 
with planting a special plant in our garden. And just before we get going, it kind of feels like the right time to just say that we appreciate the sun, not only for growing our plants for us, but for, you know, warming our souls as we're out here, busting our butt, working in our garden. And there it is.